Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be doing some modifications to the chicken coop. Let's see here we got some gutters. We're gonna finish out the water system and we also got an automatic door that we're going to install for them so they can get in and out easily. But before we do that we're gonna check on uh, the other chickens. So we got the iron chamamis in here. They're all running around eating, drinking, everything, they're doing good. But unfortunately, if you uh, watched the last video, you'll know we had one of them who had rye neck and we tried giving him medicine. We were hand feeding him, giving him water and everything, but he unfortunately did not make it. But all of these guys, they're still doing good. We're gonna go check on the uh, teenage chickens as well, see how they're doing, uh, if they're acclimating well in the chicken coop. All right, so we got the Teenage chickens in here. They're all trying to clean themselves right now, getting all in the dirt and everything. They're doing pretty good. They're, I think they're probably about maybe a couple weeks, two, three weeks away from uh, being introduced into the new flock. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But today we're going to be mostly working on the chicken coop, so. As you can see, we don't, we don't have any gutters or anything right now, but we've got the rain bar barrel right here. So we're going to put some gutters on there and try to start directing all the rainwater down there. So we've got our two by fours, we got that cut. We're gonna put one on either side, sandwiching the uh, hardware cloth, just like we built the coop and we're just gonna screw it into the two by fours that are ready there. Now we've got our little hole open for the run chicken door. So now we just gotta pop it on there and we should be good to go. So now we got this door installed and a couple of things I noticed whenever we were installing it was the screws around there, you have to leave those a little bit loose because this door going up and down, it's a, it's a couple of different pieces there, as you can tell. So it kind of uh, tensions onto it and it doesn't let it move very freely. So it's better just to use a screwdriver to install that. But see tonight, whenever the chickens are all coming in, if they can figure out how to use that door. If not, we'll have to train them a little bit to start using that instead of the main door. There we go. One figured it out. Let's see if he'll move out of the way to get the other ones to come in. Two. Looks like it's working pretty good. Perfect. He's the one that I'm kind of worried about. Don't fit through. Perfect. That's the biggest chicken we've got, so we should all be able to get in there now. Now that we got that done, we're going to try to tackle the gutters. So I bought some white ones because that's the only thing they had, but. I want to paint them black, so we're gonna to try to spray those out and see how that goes. Now that we got these all painted and we got the downspouts put in and the side put in, so we gotta bring these over. We're gonna have to seam one of them on, or we're gonna have to seam them on both sides. So we're gonna do that when we get them over there. But overall, I think the paint job went pretty well. I got the glossy paint, which honestly I probably shouldn't, should have gone with a flatter color. Might have looked a little bit better, but I think that it turned out fair enough. So we're going to bring those over to the chicken coop and get those installed. Now that 
we got those up, we're gonna start trying to put on the downspout, which we're gonna bring over here. Might take a little bit of work, but we're gonna have to get it to go down. And we're gonna go across into the rain barrel so that we can automatically uh, collect some water. And if you guys can tell, I've never put up gutters before, so we'll see how well these work. I think I got them fairly leveled. <laughs> over to the uh over to the downspout but if not we might have to be taking those down and putting them up again so we got the downspout on not anything fancy just a elbow going down to the rain barrel but that should give us enough water to uh let the birds go and not have to fill up the rain barrel with a hose anymore we're slowly making our way to finishing the never-ending chicken coop just adding those little things every so often uh, so i'm just gonna kind of go over uh, what we'll have in future videos so we have to paint the coop right now it's just got a primer on it uh, we also have a little bit more fine work up there we're gonna put the board and battens that we have over on the side and the other peak of the roof. I'll show you guys right here. So it'll look just like that. Uh, we've also are going to be putting a sidewalk around the uh, that sidewalk stepping stone, sort of just going around the chicken coop because as you can see, uh, whenever it rains, it gets pretty muddy out here. So it'd be nice to be able to walk around and get into the egg baskets and everything without getting your shoes all muddy. Uh, we've also, we didn't install the gutters on this side. So we're gonna put a gutter over there. We're not gonna tie that into the rain barrel system though. That'll just that'll come down either there or over there. And we're just going to run it through the yard over somewhere out of the way. So it's not muddying up around the area. We also want to put a little bit more dirt around this yeah, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera but the coops on a little bit of a hill so it'd be nice just to flatten that out a little bit because the rain and everything it's kind of eroding it everywhere and up here with that sidewalk we're putting we have the predator apron going all the way around but in certain places it's kind of started the dirt's kind of been washed away so with the gutters on either side that should help it but a lot of that will be in future videos so i'll see you guys later